today I'm going to tell you about three stocks, not one, not two, but three stocks that I believe are great buys right now. And to give you a hint, guys, one of them is a place where I lose money. One of them is a place where I buy clothes. And one of them, well, I bought this house from. But what could they be? Stick around for today's video where I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Have you guessed what they are yet? Well, stick around just two more minutes um, before we get into what they actually are. Before we do though, guys, just remember I'm not a financial advisor. And if you are going to invest in these companies, you do need to do just a little bit more research, probably quite a bit more research actually, than just this video, because it is your capital that is at risk. And then finally, guys, before we get into the video, do two things for me. One, do hit that little like, that little thumbs up button, just tick it so it goes blue. That'd be awesome. And if you really, really feeling generous today, hit the subscribe button, the big red button, hit it, and you'll get more content like this, which I hope you find valuable. Anyway, guys, let's get in to today's video. So stock number one, that is William Hill. And what I said in the intro was, I often lose money here, which is not a reference to the shares itself, but actually a reference to uh, my gambling, not addiction, but now the football is back, I have been gambling a little bit more. But why is William Hill a good buy right now? And I'll tell you why. So this week, news broke that uh, a company in the US, Caesar, were looking to take over the company here in the UK. And those buyout talks effectively just smashed the price up. And actually, we saw the price rise by over 40%, and that was just on Friday alone. Now, I'd anticipate that as this further development of this takeover start to manifest itself and we get to know more details on it, the price will continue to increase up until it's actually taken over. That huge rally added 60 million to the value, the market cap of William Hill just on Friday. And it actually took the price over three pounds per share. But I still think there's buying potential in there. And I do think people are still online gambling, they're still betting on the football that's back. And, and I don't think it's an industry that is massively affected by coronavirus. It would have been to an extent where obviously live sports and things were non-existent. But now they've started to phase them back. I do think um, it's, it's, a, it's another business that, that's going to continue to do well. The other reason is, right, there's actually two people that are looking to buy William Hill right now. So you've got Sousa Group, who I was talking about before, but you've also got Apollo. They're both US, but what they're effectively doing is bidding against each other to buy William Hill, which in turn is just effectively driving the price up. Um, so effectively, there could be a short-term gain in this stock uh, right now. But does that mean it's worthwhile buying for the long term? which is you know, what we ultimately look at on this channel. And I think the answer is yes. The business is still a sound business, as I mentioned before, around you know people still gambling, live events coming back, things like that. And I do think with the takeover of a US company, we'll see a different route for the business and maybe they'll start to move away from some of their bricks and mortar type um, establishments and more into actually online presence where you know companies like Bet365 are doing so well in their market share at the moment. So yeah, guys, that is buy number one. But what about buy number two, which is a place where I buy my clothes? I'm not sure if this jumper's from there, probably. I mean, I do buy most of my stuff from there. But if you haven't got it already, it's actually Boohoo Group, which again saw a huge increase this week um, as a result of uh, the publication of their supply chain report. So let's take a step back and talk about why the stock price crashed earlier. I think it was a couple of months ago now. And effectively it was because there were reports coming out and it might've been a whistleblower from inside the company, but effectively he or she was saying that there were fundamental human rights issues in the supply chain of the clothes that people were buying. And people didn't like this negativity and news and effectively just exited their positions in Boohoo and all that meant was the price just came crashing down. I believe it actually lost around half of its value in just the first three days of that person coming out and saying that. Now it can't have just been a random person, obviously it was backed by some sort of concerns and hence we got this report that was actually announced on Friday. Just before I reveal what the report actually said, uh, Boohoo did strenuously deny any sort of allegations within this and um, obviously those people that believed them obviously put their uh, faith in that and bought more shares at that point in time. And actually they were pleasantly 
surprised when Friday's report came out and said, and remember guys, this was a third party report, so it wasn't just an internal report that maybe overlooked some of the issues. And it said it was satisfied that Boohoo did not deliberately create poor conditions and low pay within its supply chain. And it said it did not intentionally profit from such schemes within the supply chain, which was obviously fantastic news. And the share price increased by a massive 10% just in one day off the back of that news. Now, I, like hopefully some of you guys, did actually have some shares in Boohoo, and I actually bought some more when it crashed uh, upon that news, because I did think it was all just noise. And maybe, obviously, on the back of uh, a report coming out, it might um, might pick back up, and fortunately, it has done. If I'm honest, guys, I doubt we'll see the share price treble in the next, you know, two to three years. But what I do think is that share price is going to go up, and it does on the back of this news, and actually the forecast um, profitability and revenue for the for the coming year, I would suggest this stock is currently undervalued. So it is a buy opportunity for me. And the final stock, so stock number three, is Rightmove, Rightmove PLC here in the UK. And if you don't know what they are, they're predominantly a sort of online estate agent presence. Um, and actually they are used loads. I mean, if you ask anyone in the UK, they probably have heard of Rightmove. Why do I think this is a buy right now? Well, one reason simply is I just think people are overlooking it. People are looking at sort of like the, the home builders, which is Barrett, um, Bellway, etc. But they're not looking at this online estate agent, which is Rightmove. And actually Rightmove is probably the number one search place for people to look for properties in the UK. Now, why right now is it a good time to buy? Especially, you might be saying, well, Ben, we're in a recession. Nobody's buying houses right now. But actually, if you go and have a quick Google, you'll see that actually house prices are on the increase because there is so much demand for people to move houses right now. People are looking at their lifestyles and they're working from home, for instance, and they're realizing I don't need to have a flat in the middle of the city anymore. I can go and have a two, three bedroom house for the same price out in the countryside and I can work from home in my own office and yeah, you know, it's different. So that's one reason. The other reason is that the government has put into place a scheme whereby there is no stamp duty to pay on new purchased vehicles. Now there are other sorts of requirements for it, so don't just take my word that there's no stamp duty to pay for it, but do go and do your research if you're gonna go and buy a house. But in most instances, the government have scrapped stamp duty up until the 31st of March, 2021. So we've got more houses being built, more demand for houses, house prices on the increase, and that therefore more people are looking to buy those houses. Where are they going to look? Well, they're going to look on right move. So why do I think this is a buy right now? Well, the reason I think it's a buy right now is because everyone is driving the price up of right move and bellway but they're ignoring Rightmove, which is the place where people go to look for these places. So in my view, it's just an overlook by the market. They're not looking at Rightmove, they're looking at the house builders. And therefore, for me, Rightmove seems like a logical place to start to invest and build a position in. Okay, so you've had not one, not two, but you've had three stocks I think we should be buying right now. And to recap, we've got William Hill with its new potential deal takeover. We've got Boohoo, which is over its scaremongering of supply chains. And three, we've got Rightmove, capitalising on the UK government schemes, as well as people buying more houses. Now guys, I hope you found some value in this video. It's taken me a little while to just pull it together, but I hope you like the new format of telling you about three rather than one stock at a time. If you have found value, guys, I'm going to plug it again, but if you can hit the red button below, let me know in the comments below. Do you invest in any of these? Do you have a small position, large position, or are you thinking about investing in them? Either way, guys, let's interact. Hit me up with some questions or comments in the comment section below. I'll be sure to reply to each. That's it, guys. Until next time. I've been The Capitalist Investor, you have been YouTube, and until next time, make sure you do subscribe.